Hello, I'm the Gimp Wimp, and today we're going to work with a template which I've created especially for the Gimp program. We're going to start by picking it up at my website, which is the gimpwimp.wordpress.com. We go to the home page, go to the right hand side menu, and pick the template set up for business cards, GIMP 2.8 and 2.6. Scroll down. You can come back later and read all the details, but for now just go down to the template. The first one is 2.6. Looks a little lopsided, but it will print evenly. And the second one is for the later version of GIMP, the 2.8 and it is evenly centered and it will print evenly centered. Now click on to the template but left click don't right click, left click and then right click and click copy. Now don't worry your copy is safe in the hands of your mouse and we're going to go on now to GIMP this is 2.8, but uh, these templates will work equally well with 2.6. Now we're going to go up to File, click on File, and then choose New. This will pull up this little dialog, and you will choose the US letter size don't choose the default and that will pull up this now click on to edit and then choose paste and there's your template ready to file and to fill with your business cards the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow Okay, now we come to the second part of this tutorial, which is positioning your GIMP cards into the template. Now pull up your template and go to File and download your business cards. Hopefully you've created them in the correct format, which is 1050 by 600 pixels. When you download them, they're going to look huge, but they will fit into your template perfectly because we've counted the pixels. So click on to Edit, and then click Copy. Now move over to your template, click Edit, and click Paste. Now don't forget to left-click on your Move tool, otherwise you're not going to be able to move your card, which is what we're going to do next. We're going to move it up and position it just under the top guideline. Don't cover the center line. Now we're going to expand the size of your canvas to about 50% and it'll be easier to work with. Click on Edit and Paste. Don't click any more copy. We finished with copy. It's now going to be paste. Okay. Now we're going to click on another Edit and another Paste. Now this card, we're going to be very careful to keep our center line intact, but we're going to paste it right over the horizontal line. Now continue pasting until you have 10 cards in position. Now you're going to remove the guidelines by using the bucket fill. I've used this blue color for demo purposes only. You know, normally you'll print on white or color cardstock, and so you'll use white to uh, erase the center lines. Be very careful here that you choose the white and then go up to the bucket fill, pick up your bucket and carry it to the center line. Be very careful to position it correctly. Click and you have removed that center guideline. 
Now the neat thing about this is I've positioned this so that you still will have your um, cutting lines left intact. Now remember that white is transparent when you print anything in a graphics program. So your bucket filling a black line with white makes it transparent. It's not advisable to print a background color. Just use your colored cardstock. Okay, now we're going to trim and cut your cards. We'll use a standard home guillotine or cutter. And in case your cards have not printed centered, we're going to follow my guidelines. So divide it in two following that center guideline. Now you have two pieces. So the next step is we're going to cut half an inch from the top and the bottom of each piece. Now this is the tricky part. Cut the card three and a half inches wide. Don't try to adjust your side uh, margins because they may not be even. Just cut three and a half inches. So your cards will be three and a half inches wide by two inches high. So just slice them off at two inches and you'll get ten per sheet. Now I'm the Gimp Wimp and I hang out at the Gimp Wimp WordPress. I drop in and visit me for templates and other wimpy tricks.